laughing much. <laughs> there's too much going on. That is. There's a, it, again, it's another week. Jesus be a fence. I know, really, just, right? Just protect me from the whole week. <laughs> But we got to start out with the have and have not. We do, because last night it came back. First season. True confession. Yeah. I have not seen it yet. <gasps> oh, I do so not. I can't talk about it? Yes, you can. We, oh, I need you to talk God. about it, because I'm going to watch it. All right. Well, I'll just give you the, I have to watch it. Tell you a little bit yeah. what happened. Okay. Yeah, please. So, Break it down for me. You know, Wyatt is now evil. Yes. Which I really hate that, because I really liked yeah. him. But his dad kicked his... But finally, because he made a comment really? talking about it's because of you that his sister's dead and all that stuff. And he so finally slapped the taste out of his mouth. He beat him down. <laughs> <laughs> well. And, uh, uh, I really ain't telling you all this, but I, I don't mind, me. but okay. we need to. Jeffrey gives in to being gay and has sex with that Good, real cute guy. Because he was name. real cute. He, he was, was the um, um, aide. Yes. Yes, yes. Well, the campaign is, aide. He's adorable. Yeah, he but is. But anyway, they he's got cute. it on. And, but it didn't end right because uh, this guy realizes that Jeffrey's in love with Wyatt. Because that's course. all he was thinking about of was course. Wyatt. Anyway, and then Wyatt comes to the hotel room. That I yes. that was crazy. It was like, well, well, what's going on here? Why is your shirt on backwards? Well, and, the haves and the have-nots, it being <laughs> the third season opener, of course it's going to be crazy. It, it's got to be crazy. It ended crazy. But I still don't like how they have Veronica Harrington acting. Oh. But, you know, she was this upstanding, you know, attorney powerful now she's just crazy you well, know she burnt up the house right and well well she cracked remember okay i talked with angela robinson who plays veronica I, harrington I got that right here right yeah okay it's online it was in arts and life and monday's newspaper but i talked in tuesday's newspaper and i talked with her and she said basically that she understands that this woman is all about control and this woman has lost the thing she cherishes the most, which is control. So something snaps in her head. And something did snap. Now she's crazy. Well, now she's she's having this, uh, she's going to hook back up with Benny, whose mama taught him better than messing around with a yes. married woman. I don't know what's going on. So, but it's going to be interesting to see how her husband, Veronica's husband, David, David Harrington reacts because she pretty much let him know, I won't be sleeping alone. So she's plotting this affair. <laughs> and girl, I love that she's plotting the affair. But then think about it, though. It's hot. All it's she, hot. Right. Have, all, have not stopped right All now. Veronica does is scheme anyway. For like yeah. the past season, I right. think I even wrote in my story here that right. she went from zero to full on evil she in one sure season. Did. She oh, did. she burnt that house down. <laughs> well, anyway, but, but Empire. Empire, lots of, they, they performed on the BET Hip Hop Yes, Awards. it was uh, Yaz and Jesse Smollett, who plays and, Hakeem and Jamal. And the girl who plays Tub, uh, uh, yeah, her. Tiana. Tiana. <laughs> she did. They did drip drop. And they I did the, drip I know you don't drop. like drip drop. No, no, it, the more I hear it, it's I can't help song. it. I can't help it. It's, it's an awful song, but it's a great song. Yes. It's like awful and great at the same time. Grawful. It's got <laughs> <we're> making <laughs> up words here. I know. Well, it's got a good beat to it. But anyway, they performed. Yeah, they and, performed. Um, and Jesse did a little speech. He did, and I knew that was coming. Yeah. You know, our little activists. Yeah, it was right on the heels of the right. Supreme Court Supreme ruling, Court ruling. Right. for equal marriage right. rights. Right. Which. You know, my goodness, and for it to happen during Pride Month, I know, was really. just monumental. It really, and it was. really is a monumental event. And I event. knew he was going to say. Yeah. So. I was waiting. I said he's going to say so. And then um, Terrence Howard, yeah, he got what did he get? I know he got called up there for. Um, was it best actor? It was something that he got know. called. It was something significant. Such, but did you see him it, with the, his, the show was is, his wife? I think so. The show is so long well, that I start zoning out on what's an award and what's it not. It is. But I hope you didn't miss the Diddy fall. No, no, I did not miss it. Well, you can get that on YouTube. He, he disappeared. He was oh, like in the middle man. of dance and all of a sudden, Girl, whoop, he disappeared. They, they're talking about <laughs> Diddy might sue. Whatever. You know. And you fall, you fall. He did. He went to the Beyonce he got right School up, of Falling. Though. He got right he back got up. Right back Show up. must go on. Anyway. Bad Boy 20th anniversary year. <laughs> Although I could have sworn Bad Boy's been around longer than that. But I could swear a lot of yeah. things. Yeah, but it, it was a good performance until that. It was yeah. Like, so, okay, you know what I am binging on. <coughs> yes. Is this show called The Strain. What, what's up with that? I saw you say it's, something about that. It, okay. 
It's about my kid walks in. I try not to let her see the show. She walked in while I was watching it, and she says, zombie vampires. Exactly. Oh, yeah, you get into that <laughs> stuff. That's right. <laughs> They're zombie vampires. They're pretty darn awesome. And it's on FX. It's a series? Yes. Season one, it was a series of books what, first. Do they talk? I mean, how is this? A yeah, okay. it, was a, it was a series of books first. Okay. And then Guillermo del Toro. Toro, bless his heart, director, writer, author, whatever. He brought it to TV, to FX, and they let him do way more than just like NBC or a regular broadcast network really? would. And it's really, really good. Well, what they've done is they have this special collectible edition yeah. of the first season DVD that's available on Amazon only until July 14th. Then July 14th, you can buy it everywhere. But so oh. I'm binging on the show. It's so good. It is. Even if you, don't, even if you don't like I that mean, type of stuff. I vampires and zombies. This this is good, though, because this is all about human resilience in the face of an onslaught. It's like an epidemic. Really? Yeah. It's not the vampirism that you come to use. To. These vampires aren't romantic or cute at all. Wow. Yeah. It's like a continuing horror show. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I might like it. You uh, might. You right. might. Well, um, obviously, the big thing was um, that uh, the, the Supreme Court decision, the right to marry. Right. That was... Really big. Uh, really same big. Same-sex couples can marry now. And and in the, all states. Yeah and, yeah. and and the internet on both sides has gone bonkers. I'm surprised the internet hadn't waved the white flag and just given up. <laughs> well, you know, and there's been some of these um, uh, little towns that are mm -hmm. saying we don't want to do it because of our religious. Remember beliefs. Hood County? That yeah, woman and I said think she, she turned was, around and said we got a couple people said, in the well, office that will do well, it. Well, when you think about it, though. That's your job. When you right. take, no matter what your religious beliefs are, right. your job is to just hand the people the form. Exactly. You know, and if they uh, qualify, Mark give Davis it to is them. a conservative um, a talk right. show host. He made a good point. He said, so if you're working for the government doing meat inspections, do you refuse to go to the barbecue joint? Right. I mean, go get another job if you can't do if your you, job. If you can't, because. It comes down to right. that's your job, no that's matter your job. what your religious beliefs are. Right. And also, we live in a, we live on a, in a country that was religious freedom was one exactly. of the tenets. So whether you believe it's right for these people right. to marry or not, it's still the law of the land. Right. I mean, there's laws I don't like. I wish I didn't have to drive the speed limit. Right. I mean, I <laughs> I don't want to stop at the red light. Right. But I got to. I don't want to. I, I want to roll and stop every time I see a stop <laughs> I, sign. Right. Why I got to stop my momentum okay. for you? Right. You know, well, why I got to stop? I mean, my... there are, we, we, we all will not like the laws, but they are right. the laws we of the land to and just, you have to abide by We them. need to just live and let live. That's right. I mean, my favorite comic book <laughs> shop, I had no idea that the proprietors of the shop uh -huh. We're gonna get married. The oh, two, the so two cool. guys, they but they the did. They the put door. the sign on the door, and it was funny because I was in there that night before because they have Dollar Comic Day. So I took the baby <laughs> after dinner, and we bought like all That's these great. comic books. And they were telling us, "Yeah, we're going to the courthouse," and we just kind of, "Okay, well." Is it, where's this at? Deep Ellum, or is it? Mm -hmm. It's in um, North Oak Cliff, okay. on the corner of Zang and Eighth like Street. Bishop Arts sort of area. Yeah, okay. it's a little red house. I have the cutest little photo of my baby girl sitting in front, reading reading a comic book. I on free comic book there. day, he likes comic you stuff. do. It's really, it's a really, really great shot. But that and was a touching story. Yeah, to it's a really good story. Could finally get a lot of couples could finally get married. Yeah, so a lot that of one couple touched. that we had that married here first. They had been together fifty four years. Yes, Did you really see their interview with Tamron? Yes, yes, it was great. <laughs> yeah, and the picture was just it went yeah. viral. Yeah, everything just went everywhere. So, well, what else we got? I well, mean, we got um, Misty Copeland. Oh, yeah, the first black principal at the American Ballet Company, right? Yes. that's wow. amazing. And she's so emotional about it. You know what I love about it? What? I always worried about putting my little girl in ballet because I wondered. I didn't want her to come. She's right. got enough pressures. I didn't want her to have to worry about her body image or her body shape so much. Right. You know, because. But this woman, when you look at her, she's not a waif. She's not skinny. She doesn't look like she's going to break. She looks strong. Wow. She I looks strong. And she's the first black principal in the 75 year history wow. of this company. That's amazing. And it's just absolutely amazing. It is amazing. And they say when she's done performing that they have they have to move the autograph seekers to another part because it's so many of them. Everybody loves her. Yeah. Wow. So I'm, well, that was cool to I see. I feel like she's and my child. And of course we have Bree uh, Newsom. Bree Newsom. She uh, is the one that climbed the uh, <laughs> 
metal pole <laughs> she to remove the uh, <laughs> Confederate flag from the South Carolina State Capitol. <laughs> yeah. Uh, flag pole. So. Wow. <laughs> right? How tall is that flat pole? Oh, first thing I thought she, about. She scaled that pole like it was. She must be fit. She but must, anyway. Right. Good That's for all her. I can think of. Good girl. girl. Uh, but and, then but I saw her being that way. She was arrested. That's not, that's not a oop girl not a, on that one. Right, no. Oops girl. Oops. Um, but yeah, so she got arrested, but she got attention, and that's what she, got, she was and seeking. And that's what she was seeking. Yeah. Because the, the the Confederate flag flapping, you know, I stated my position last week. I think right. it's all a, a red herring to call to take my attention away from the people who actually died. Right, right. But it's just, you know, there's so many, so many things yeah. right there now that should call your attention if right, you right. are worried about your rights or the right. news or whatever. That, it's okay to divide your attention. It's called compartmentalization. <laughs> you can be mad about this one thing, be happy about the other. Exactly, and I tell you, Brie was not going away. Yeah. She, if you she don't, gotta, if you don't know how to handle your emotions, go see Inside Out. <laughs> it's a good movie well, I for that. See that. Right, <laughs> it'll teach you how you know there's joy and sadness, anger right. and disgust. <laughs> exactly, joy's got all of them involved. I want to see that. It's a good movie. I love it. What else do we have? Um, Oh, Puffy, it, after he fell, but he yeah. had a bad week, right? Yeah. Puffy had the bad week. And because now he got arrested. He got arrested, for the too. Assault and now look. they're saying it's because his son was basically being bullied by the yeah. strength and conditioning coach. Well, anyway, we're going to have to watch that. Well, you know, he's lawyered up on yeah, that for sure. They caught that in the inmate. Yes, they did catch him, and he's just talking his butt off. <laughs> he tried not he to. He said that was our second run. At, you know, the, I guess they had rehearsed yeah. it and got out once, and then the second time is when they did their big getaway. But I find that he some angling people for find a book that deal. hard to believe, though, because Me too. if you're locked up that long and it's like, oh, let's see if this works. Oh, we're out. We came through the manhole. Why this would man you man. come back? Let's go back into the cell. And not only that, the power, uh, to, the power tools wouldn't have worked twice. I mean, come on. That, that's... That's like we're free now. We're let's free. Let's do this. Let's do, let's go back in. Well, how do oh, you go back in? Wait a minute. I left a book. Let me go back and get it. I want to get back to my car. I mean, it, it I left my favorite but, brush. But he's doing a lot of talking, <laughs> and apparently, he says that he left uh, his uh, cohort and all this. The uh, yeah, the other prisoner. I can't think of his name. Michael or whatever. Dead. Well, he's dead. <laughs> and and you know, all the families they don't want to claim they the body. They don't want to claim the body. See, now that's a shame. Well, your family doesn't he's, want to claim He's your still body. your family, no matter what he did. Yeah, he didn't, they do not want to claim that he's body. A, he's a murderer, he's a liar, he's a cheat. He's a, he do all of that, but you still got to claim because he your one. But they, <laughs> some of them were on the news saying they were scared when he was running around because he had threatened to kill them. Oh, well, maybe, maybe you don't claim <laughs> him then. But anyway, so the one that survived apparently <laughs> ditched him because he said he was out of shape, and then apparently he got sick too. Oh! And that he drank too much, and he was slowing him down. Maybe that's why they had to leave the underwear because he got sick. Mm -hmm. I'm but just you saying. know that's what gave up his cover. He was coughing, and that's what attracted their attention. And they caught the attention. flim. Well, they, they heard. Him. <laughs> no, <laughs> they they actually heard him coughing. You you would think that I had read any of this stuff. I mean, my brain is just so. It, it's just so solid yeah, right it now. It is a fast moving story. You gotta follow along. <laughs> but uh, I, anyway. I obviously missed something. <laughs> you just thinking, he's dead, he's caught. Okay. Right, he's dead, he's caught. <laughs> Let's Tony. move on. Well, I see you said something about Ben Affleck, too. Oh, uh, yeah, you uh, saw the Jennifer Garner because are after 10 years of marriage. They suspended the series, the TV series, where they um, check for ancestors and stuff. They suspended the series because they said that he had so much. Um, he had exerted undue influence because he didn't want them to show that his ancestors were slaveholders. Oh. So he got a whole show pulled off a of network. Oh my God. Pulled off of PBS well, because well, of him. Well, and now he's, now he's getting divorced. He's had a bad week. Uh, they're divorced the, the and two strong, the, marriage. The, the two strongest chins in Hollywood. Oh, wow. Couldn't take it on the chin anymore. I guess 10 years was enough. I, I guess so. Well, they made it to 10. They what did. Is that? Anniversary is that? Hashtag love wins. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess if we start bragging on 10, okay. Our, our standards are low in Hollywood. Standards are low. You make 10 years. Oh, she was married for three months, really? Um, <laughs> you married for 10 years, that's like being married for 54. I mean, really, right? In, in real people And see, that's years. my thing about the whole marriage flap is, why can't another group of people fail just as badly as the rest of us at it? That's true. I that's mean, true. just, you know. 
That's true. Give somebody uh, else a chance well, that's too to bad show a baby the, how, it, how it should be done. We don't have too many successful Hollywood marriages. No, that is too, no. Well, now we have the pool drownings. That's a sad story. Yeah, locally, a la Irving, Texas. Yeah. Now, I still have questions about I this. I have lots of questions about As that. she took five kids to this pool, and apparently some people say it was too dirty to even they, be. Right. They said the pool was so dirty that she couldn't even you see couldn't the even kids. You couldn't even see the kids. So nobody can swim. I think the oldest is 10, the next is yeah. 9, and then they had a 6-year-old. Three of them died, the 6 to 9, right. and the 10-year-old died. So sad. Nobody could swim. They hear her screaming. CPS, I don't think they, yeah. they've removed the kids yet, but it just, that needs to be looked it at. It needs to be looked at because, number one, I'm worried about her judgment in taking kids to a pool that's obviously so dirty that why do you even want to put your body her in residence it? residence was like, somebody was swimming in that murky water? I mean... Right. When there are free splash parks around and you just got to get wet, I worry about her state of mind and who left their children with her and, to do and that. And then that she apparently was caring for the two, look over, she doesn't see the other three. Right. Nobody can swim. There nope. was no life jacket. So that means... I don't no, worry about the parody. Yeah, I, I really worry about that's that. that's a very sad story. So I think, I think something's going to come out of that and we have to watch that. There's so many stories. Like, I overheard someone saying that there were all these... There are all these murders or forget overheard there were three in southern dallas the other night alone yeah, the murder rate is up so it's like too bad. it's like everybody stayed inside when it was raining plotting everybody else's demise exactly <laughs> it's like really well before we wrap up because i need to get back but yeah. i just want to make mention in the dallas oh, morning goodness. news yeah uh wednesday's edition there's a little story here it's our first fourth without yeah. bluebell r.i.p yeah. r.i.p that's too bad. No more of that uh, good vanilla. And also, there's still a lot of lakes closed because of the flooding. But yeah. uh, if you go to DallasNews.com, maybe you can, Dallas you can find a list of ones list that are of open. The lakes that are open, so yeah. you can uh, look at that. But but please, so I don't care how cheap the bluebell is at the corner grocery store. Don't do it. Please don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it, because if you do it, we're going to talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> call it dryers. That's a plug. All right, girl, I got to get okay, back. Okay, honey. Bye. All right, bye. <laughs>